Hello and welcome to the Aaron Schwartz channel. Today we're going to be looking at a thermal infrared view of the engine idle warming after startup. Here the Seek thermal sensor is detecting exhaust temperature happening at the header out of the engine. You can see the hot exhaust gases heating that down section of the pipe. That's going to get hot the fastest because it's near the exhaust outlet of the engine and I keep moving the sensor around a little bit to avoid uh, cooking any of the microbolometer sensors. Sorry about the shaky camera movement. Um, if you're pointing an IR camera at an extremely hot object, uh, it's okay to move the sensor around as you avoid toasting any of the individual um, bolimeter sensors. Essentially, a FLIR infrared thermal sensor is nothing more than an array of tiny heat sensitive sensors arranged like a CCD or CMOS sensor in a digital camera or like the retinal cones in your eyeball and it converts the incoming thermal IR uh, heat light uh, into electrical signals which are differentiated by the software and colorized uh, represented with this heat map uh, depiction. So uh, brighter red color uh, towards white is hottest and cold dark towards blue is coldest. Now um, that dark image in the front, um, the top uh, left corner, that is a three row Kotaku oil cooler and we can see the green uh, color creeping in from the left. That's where the hot engine oil enters the aluminum finned radiator assembly and gradually over the engine idle warm-up um, had it just on its kickstand idling um, the fuel mixture uh, automatically leans out and we can see the exhaust ta uh, temperature increase and the engine oil, this is an air-cooled engine, the engine oil uh, is pumped through this three-row oil cooler and begins the heat exchange process. Um, an oil cooler like this is absolutely essential if you're going to tune the Grom engine. Um, cooling the engine oil greatly enhances the life of the engine by improving the lubricity properties of the oil. Uh, Air-cooled engines tend to operate a lot hotter than liquid-cooled engines, so using an oil cooler helps to reduce peak heat loading of the oil, which improves the oil life. Um, the Kotaku clutch cover kit also includes an oil filter, and that oil filter helps to screen the oil with the microfine filter uh, to clean up any kind of blow-by product um, that accumulates, kind of like plaque does in the arteries of someone with cardiovascular disease or coronary artery disease. Um, the cross byproducts of the exhaust gas leaking past the rings actually fouls engine oil uh, very slowly. That's why it's important to change your oil. But at any rate, having a proper oil filter makes the Grom's engine oil work better, makes the Grom engine last longer, um, and improves the life of uh, all the reciprocating friction surfaces uh, in the reciprocating piston engine. So it's a really good idea to use an oil cooler. Same on an automatic transmission in a vehicle that's used for towing an oil cooler will enhance life of the transmission. The same thing is true of an air-cooled uh, piston engine like the Honda Grom SF engine. This is a 2019 Honda Grom SF with around uh, 2,000 miles uh, on the odometer and I upgraded uh, the engine. It's now making around 12 horsepower uh, using a wideband tuner, a power commander, cold air intake, a full stainless steel exhaust, uh, and the Kotaku clutch cover and here it is uh, towards the end of the warm-up. Here we can see the engine in normal visible light. Test conducted around 60 Fahrenheit. This one's been a long time in the making. One of the last additions is this EZ109 oil valve. This enables a toolless oil change. No torque wrench, no special adapter. You just open the valve, drain out the old oil, close the valve, and add new oil. Super cool, huh?